Hello and welcome back to Newcastle Fans TV. The drive doing is going a little bit earlier because I've got a bit of a hectic day tomorrow with me flying to Australia a couple of hours after full time I've got to be at the airport so put it out the neat. So stay tuned for all of that coverage which I'll be out in Australia for six to seven days. So plenty of stuff coming up. However, big matter in hand, final game of the season. We're going to miss it, everyone. Weather is beautiful. It's currently 25 degrees. I've just gone past Doncaster, heading due into London, where I'm staying overnight. But Callum Wilson is back. Positive news. Positive news. He's missed the last couple, so it'll give Eddie Howe a bit of options. Remember when he brought them on? Was it last season? When we're getting beaten, we turned it around. I'm sure that was last season. That many games. Uh, I think Isaac scored. A, or was it Wilson or Isaac scored a beauty on the edge of the box? Curler. Beautiful. Uh, turned the game around playing two up top, so that gives Eddie Howe options. For me, got to start Nick Pope, got to start Joe Lytton. Go with your stronger side, there's something playing on it, relying on it. There's European qualification potentially up for grabs. So, now, the stipulation is today, tomorrow rather, is that if Chelsea get beat and Newcastle win, we'll go above Chelsea and we qualify for Europe. Done. Don't have to worry about the FA Cup final at all. Now, I don't think that's going to happen personally. I think Chelsea will at least get a point. So, realistically, Newcastle need to match what Man United do. Whether Man United lose, we're there. Man United draw, we've got to pick up a point. Man United win, we're going to have to pick up a win as well. But, in all honesty, we're probably going to need a win. So, let's just see if that happens. Newcastle gets seventh place but then relying on Man City to do us a favour in the FA Cup, which you never really want. Don't get me wrong, you're expecting Man City to win that. It didn't get us wrong. But you just never know, do you? So it's not in our hands, effectively, before we finish seventh. But if Chelsea do get beaten, we win. We'll qualify for Europe regardless. So that's the positive and the stipulations to come out of that. Now, of course, if Man United finish ahead of Newcastle, it's game over game over we're not qualifying for you that'll be done today so we'll see we'll see but if obviously Man United go on and win the FA Cup and finish 8th they will take 7th place away which is most likely to be us unless Chelsea get beat and we win which will be incredibly harsh considering the season that we've had before the Champions League games chucked in the cup runs and all them injuries in particular that middle part of the season where we were just we had 13 or 14 players out man we had the likes of Michael and Dweedy, who's just been released by the club on the bench. We had Alex Murphy, who's been on a few times. We had Ben Parkinson. So we had yeah, Diallo as well. So squad's been literally, we have been named two goalkeepers, man, on the bench. So squad's been that stretched. And somehow we're in contention for European players. I think that's a good season. For me, and there's a lot of people saying, oh, Eddie Howe, at, at this very, very small. I don't think match going fans will ever, ever say that. I think it's a very small minority of people who don't go to games will see it. And I'm including people from other clubs as well, just to be able, just for the band, not just for the for that sake. But look, it's gotta be a tough one. We've got to go record though. And you know what? I didn't care. I didn't care how we win as long as we do win. If we get battered and someone come away, I'll take it. Tomorrow is all about just winning. Forget about the performance. Just play your strongest side and just get that result. And we'll see with other results what Chelsea are doing and what Man United are doing. Of course, we're going to be looking at the phones if you can get a fucking signal that is inside. Me and Sam are doing Brentford. So we'll be giving you um, some videos afterwards. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing afterwards because of me. I've got to be back um, at Heathrow for, well, 8 o'clock basically. So the game finishes at 6, so I can't hang around for too long. So I've literally got to go back to the hotel, pick up my suitcase and to the airport so it's probably going to re be a reaction and maybe the last word and I'll try and do the last word at the airport I don't think I've got time to edit a vlog and do a vlog so I, d I don't know we'll, we'll see we'll see how I see how I get on but we'll have to get we'll have to wait and see and see what happens and you know I've got all the fans coming in on the boats which the weather hopefully the morrow is like this because it is absolutely beautiful and um, hopefully they enjoy themselves as well but as I say Australia week 
for me, uh, bringing a loads of content from um, following some Aussies around, uh, meeting up a few pints, and as of course, Australia, you've got to have the pints. I'm going to go sightseeing in Melbourne. I want to do a tour of Albert Park. I've got loads planned coming on the channel, so stay tuned for that. Uh, so, yeah, I've got loads. And hopefully, the rest of the lads back on the channel, back in England, do some vids as well, so it's not just all about my ugly face. And speaking of my face, we've not been dyed. Ready for Australia? Get the good old. Just for men out for the beard, man. Right, that's it from me, everyone. Watch ways of Dean. See you after the game. Ta-da. <laughs>